I basically left school and I did a youth training scheme in care work. I've always done care work. Um, did that for several years. Um, then worked as an auxiliary um, at a different uh, NHS hospital. And through that, I did all levels at night school. I did MVQs um, within that trust and I got seconded to do a diploma in nursing. General nurses, um, generally they call it an adult nurse now, but basically you would look after anybody who comes into a hospital environment. Um, you can be a general nurse in a, in a care home, you don't have to come into the hospital environment. You check patients' blood pressures, you do the medications to ensure that, you know, and you, you, you sort of the doctor's eyes really of, of things what might go wrong to, to then alert you know them to give them whatever's needed. You've got the general nurse and you've got specialist nurses in gynaecology like I do, there's rheumatology, there's haematology which is you know you specialise in the blood, there's lots of variations to go into once you've got that qualification. Well basically they, they come to us obviously because they've had an abnormal smear. We would then go through that with them, explain what the test is and what the abnormality is and, and to what degree. Some of them we just watch and wait so we'd have a look, we'd examine them and say we'll see you in 12 months and we just repeat that smear. Others have got a slightly more abnormality um, and they need certain treatments which can get done here in clinic which I also do that as well. Communication is a massive, massive part of being a nurse because you talk to everybody, the patient, the doctors, other multidisciplinary teams you do have to sort of make sure you're aware and, and talk to them. And talk to them on their level so they understand exactly what you, you're saying and, and explain it so they know what you're talking about. It's not just a job, it has to be a vocation. I think it's not just something that you're going to do nine to five and go home and that's it, you get paid. It's, if that's how you feel, then perhaps it isn't the right job to do. I do feel that you have to have that caring nature and it's what you want to do, it's what you enjoy doing. Volunteering would be a great thing to do to get into nursing, to give you that experience of one, you've sort of had that background knowledge about things and you would then feel that, yeah, it's what I want to do or not. You do find a lot of young um, students what go into nursing, they do that first year and, and within the first six months they pull out because then they think, I can't do this. Well, at least if they've done that, they've sort of saved themselves the hard work of actually, you know, getting there and, and you know, it is a rewarding job. I just enjoy looking after patients. Um, I just enjoy the whole aspect of, of being a nurse from when you still wash them um, to you know where I am now. I enjoy the responsibilities I have. I enjoy the, the fact that I can make people better or help them overcome the problems that they're having. It's just great, I love it. <laughs>